Hi, hello. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey, this is not the hair color Jamie always shows up on camera with. You're right. And it's actually also not the color I ever expected me to have on my head, but I went to the hairdressers and I asked for like a gray beige color and I came back with this, a violet. However, my hairdresser said it would wash out in like one wash after two days. I washed it twice already. So I think I'm gonna contact my hairdresser again because this is straight of purple. But anyway, because I have purple hair right now, I, I thought I should I should take advantage of it. And what better way to take advantage of like crazy hair color like this than makeup? And I was thinking I just have the perfect palette for it. This baby. It's pretty new. I have it for like a week and it has this well, these trios and I thought well this one is perfect for my purple hair. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, anything else being? Let's get started. I'm gonna start with my eyebrows and now it's a little bit of a, of a guess. We're gonna do with these puppies. Maybe I should make them a little bit lighter, I don't know. Um, I'm just using my brow wiz uh, in medium brown, but I think I'm gonna go over with like a taupe stain or something afterwards. Uh, we'll see. So that's just with the brow wiz and I'm gonna use um, like a gel in more like taupe color um, to light up my eyebrows because I think it will have like a better look. I feel like cool it down a little bit. So next I'm gonna dive in straight to the eyes. Um, I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot as usual to prime my eyes. Well, actually, I'm not this mad about this color. I mean, I like it, but like only for a day or two. It's just the thing. It's it's far from what I've asked for. So, mm. and I think it's a very nice fashion color if you want to call it that. So, um, we're gonna play with the bejeweled eyes to hypnotize from Charles Tilbury, and we're gonna use the Dream Glow Trio. I'm gonna use the prime color first, and I'm just gonna use it with my finger. Next I'm going to use a clean fluffy brush and I'm going to use the second color, Dream Glow, uh, from, the, from the Dream Glow. Um, it's, it's a shame that they actually don't really have names, but okay.
So next we're gonna use the smoke color and it's this purplish color and now I'm gonna use it with like this um, shading brush and then I'm gonna blend it out a little bit but let's see if it ties my hair and, and face <laughs> together. I'm also going to use this purple color underneath the lash line. This is what we have for eyes so far. Um, now I'm going to give it like some mascara and we'll see where it goes. And I'm using the Dior Show New Look Mascara again because I wanted to use another one but I couldn't find any at the moment. So we're just gonna go with this one. What are we thinking? I'm thinking yes so far. Now, let's move on with the face a little bit more. I'm gonna use my trusty Dior Backstage Foundation, the color 1.5. I really am not the person that like tries new foundation every week um, because I have a really hard time finding a nice color match. Um, so Alright, now next is concealer. I'm using the Magic Away Magic Liquid Concealer. Magic Away Liquid Concealer. Yes, Charles Tilbury, color 3. I'm just gonna dab it away with my finger, like dab it in, not dab it away because then what's the use? <laughs> Okay, before moving on to face powders, I'm first gonna do my lips because you guys all know I like to match my lip color to the rest of my um, powder face. Um, so yes, I'm starting off with the lip cheat of Charlotte Tilbury in the color Very Naughty. It's, um, I'm gonna pair it with the same lipstick and it's like this really berry color and I thought it would fit like really nice to my hair. So yeah, we're gonna use the lip liner first because it's a really dark color and um, yeah, that's why. <laughs> For my lips, I'm just gonna follow the natural um, shape of my lips. Not gonna really, gonna really change anything.
totally forgot to exfoliate my lips, but we're we're just gonna go for it with it for now. Okay, now moving on to lipstick. Ooh. Lipstick is also the lipstick is called Glastonbury, so it's not the exact same shade name, but I think it's like they recommended it together on the website, all right? Okay, next I'm gonna sculpt my face a little bit with the Charles Tilbury Filmstar Bronzing Glow um, Sculpt color I'm gonna use first Now I'm gonna do blush and of course I'm using a berry color and I'm using the color of velvet of the blush trio Berry Adore from Charlotte, not Charlotte Tilbury, from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, it's very pigmented color so I need to watch out. Just gonna blend it in with my foundation brush a little bit because no matter what I do, it always is a really heavy color. I don't mind it, I really like it. But you're, you see, you really have to work it in because otherwise it's like a little bit too much. But if this happens to you and you can't really like fix it right away with just using foundation brush again, I'm using like a little bit of foundation. Going over it. I'm gonna keep doing that until I'm happy with the color. Lastly, I'm gonna use the Becca Eprisky palette for some glow. Um, where did I do my highlighting brush? Well, here's another brush. And I'm gonna use the pink-ish color in the palette for some uh, glow. So, and that marks the end of this makeup tutorial. Um, I think it turned out pretty well. And I'm kind of digging this hair right now, but 
I hope my hairdresser can fix it soon because I really love it, but it's not what I asked for and it's not really my personality. <laughs> I don't know, but it was fun for now. So I hope you too enjoyed this makeup tutorial and this whole look. And if I inspired you to dye your hair purple or violet or whatever color you want to call it, please go ahead and let me know on social media. <laughs> or if you just recreate this look because I like it, honestly, it's, it's gonna be perfect with every hair color. Also, let me know on social media, use a hashtag, tag me, anything you want. And if you like my content and videos, please like and subscribe to see more of this face. So, without further ado, have a nice day, enjoy your evening, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!